Okay, so in this quick video, I'm going to demonstrate how to basically create a uh, pantomime performance uh, with a character. This is basically a performance where the character is apparently talking, but you can't actually hear him. Uh, instead, you see him doing different things, maybe moving his mouth, uh, and perhaps even displaying the uh, what he's supposed to be saying using text. So the first thing that I did is uh, import any character, in this case, uh, Saul go straight into the script, uh, the create script uh, button. Here we're going to record our voice and uh, make sure you have the proper microphone selected. I've done so many of these that sometimes I get uh, the webcam one and I end up wondering why the sound is uh, so terrible. Um, but you know because the sound is not going to be heard this is not that important. Uh, we just want to be able to quickly generate some lip sync at different parts of the animation. So um, you can use whatever you want for this particular instance, um, for this in this particular case. So I'm going to go ahead and start recording. Hi, my name is Saul. And that was a very long pause. And this is my third bit of dialogue. Hello, world. All right, that's all I need. This is enough for Crazy Talk to quickly generate the mouth movements. So notice that in some places the mouth continues to move even though he's not talking. You probably don't want this. So what you're going to do here at this point is you're going to open up the timeline. With the character selected, press the object related track. This is going to open the, the track specifically for Saul if it's not already there. Uh, so we're going to go into the face uh, option and this is uh, the animation for your audio here. We're going to expand that and you can see the waveform and all the different uh, mou uh, mouth movements that have been generated. Now these mouth movements, I mean they were generated because there's obviously noise in the room that the computer think it's dialogue and so it tries to translate that into something. So we're going to go ahead and just clean this because this is actually silence. That way we don't have any random mouth movements when the character is not supposed to be moving his mouth. We're going to do the same thing here. Okay. Now these little things are the actual keyframes for the mouth movements. And uh, okay, so at this point he stops talking, but his mouth stays open. Maybe we want we want the mouth to close and. You know, you can actually do this manually using the lips editor. You go to animation, lips editor, and you can actually select which mouths you want the character to display at any given time. But that will take longer, and especially because the sound is not going to be heard. Uh, you know, you probably shouldn't be doing it that way. <laughs> it's just uh, unnecessary. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and. Uh, Get rid of these. And maybe put a closed mouth, closed mouth over here. And then he starts talking again. And there's more si uh, silence at that point right there. Okay. And now doing it this way also kind of allows you to get a better sense of what the character is saying. Uh, so it might actually be easier and a little bit more believable in your case um, to do something like that. I'm just going to put a closed mouth right there. And actually, I'm going to I'm going to end with a smile. The E. Ooh, that's a bad smile. I guess uh, Salt has a very. Uh, you know, mean personality because it doesn't seem to have a smile sprite. Um, you might be able to go into the puppet editor and change the expressions. Um, I'm not sure what all the different sprites for Sal are. Uh, anyways, that's a different tutorial for a different day. At this point, we have uh, the dialogue just the way we want it. Okay, now we're ready to basically get rid of the sound. So all we have to do really uh, is look at your little timeline. Above the timeline, you have some controls here. On the right-hand side, you have a volume lever, and this is for your sound effects and your 
uh, background music okay so you can go up or down on that depending on your scene and you can also remove the sound here this is for the this is the volume for the voice so we're just gonna go all the way down to the bottom and uh, here you go so no more dialogue there okay so now you have exactly what you need and uh, you know just as a final touch you probably just don't want don't want him to just stand there uh, moving his lips you might want to make him a little bit more uh, um, uh, approachable a little bit more of a persona in there so we're gonna do here here's a talk animation uh, let's see here's the explain animation uh, let's see go 3d motion gonna make that animation begin somewhere right there actually you know what's what would be cool if we start with a with an idle animation first uh, let's see idle uh, let's see ta -ta -ta, normal male we just give them an idle motion oops let's re let's bring this back all the way to the beginning idle motion that way he has a, a base to work from okay now at this point when he first starts talking uh, let's see let's break this up all right now we have we continue to have our idle motion over here but right here we're gonna bring in the explain one let's see yeah that's cool kind of jerky so let's blend it in a little bit there we go. Okay. So at this point, we go to break again. We'll get rid of this. We'll bring back our idle. So now we have something that looks like that. When he's done talking, he goes back to being idle. Then he'll start talking again. Control B is for break. Let's try a uh, happy mail action, but not right there. You gotta make sure your your the little scrubber is in the right place. Happy mail uh, and blend it in. We're gonna break it right around there get rid of that part we'll bring back our idol and uh, I think we have one more bit of dialogue right around here okay so at this point we'll break it again now where I keep my little uh, idle motion ready to you know use for next time um oops i keep doing this um i'm gonna drop in that normal male motion and uh, extend this out a little bit so it'll blend then we'll blend back in some of that idle motion here and i think that's all the talking parts that i had uh, no i have one more i'll just go ahead and leave that as is Okay, we'll just leave it there, and uh, let's take a quick look. There you go. So now you have a pantomime uh, performance with no dialogue and you have all your mouth movements moving at the different parts where you need it to move.